the, uh, the requirement. Second perspective, second dimension, open innovation and society. Openness, should it be somewhere in a social contract? Should a social contract take it up? Uh, what you will realize now here on, in, in with this second uh, aspect, perspective, dimension, the question marks increase. Now, this were the area where we started to have more and more uh, controversies in the discussions or where we were uncertain and did not yet come up with, the, with fixed conclusions. Um, so are rules needed for guiding the social outcome of technology use and innovation? To what extent should openness be a policy priority? In how far should we need to be active in policy making to ensure openness, to prevent it, to broaden it everywhere? Um, second aspect, sustainability of value. Nothing lasts forever. We were using the example of, of Wikipedia. Everybody is using it nowadays, but there's no guarantee that in five years, in two years, in 10 years, it will still be up to date. It will still be the, uh, the prime source of information. Um, so how can value creation be sustained in an open environment? Is an open environment the proper way to achieve that? How does open innovation compare to propriety approaches in this respect? And third aspect here, prevent competence lock-in. Um, there are no question marks here. We were uh, pretty much um, concluding here. Social conditioning, for instance, by making people use software from one single vendor, is a threat to innovation. Um, and we need to create awareness early on, e.g. by preventing uh, the conditioning in, in schools. One school is enough here. Um, so w w the example that, that everybody probably knows is that school children, when they have to hand in reports, when they give presentations, um, are very often asked to forced to use one special uh, software from one special vendor. And, and even if, they, if their parents would say, no, come on, use the other software. You can take our laptop, it connects. The classmates will come up and say, oh, what are you using there? Why are you not using XYZ software? Why are you using strange things? So there is social conditioning here, and here we need to create awareness early on uh, in order to prevent this, in order to prevent this competence lock-in as a factor. And now to the third aspect, uh, open innovation in the global context. Promoting participation, again, question marks here. To what extent? will openness help on a global level to achieve a fair cost of participation regarding value creation, access to knowledge? Can openness be really an instrument here, a door opener uh, on a global level, on a fair way? Um, and of course, promoting participation, you have keywords like open data, open access, um, etc. Proper scoping and delineation. Is openness the appropriate way for any topic area, or are there differences? Will openness really be uh, helpful everywhere, or are there differences in what openness means in different topic areas, uh, different ways to achieve openness that need to be addressed? And finally, um, Oops, that's, the, that's wrong here. Then it was getting too late last night. Um, <laughs> uh, prevent companies, that's a duplication. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry about this. Um, okay, so some intermediate conclusions. Um, openness is transforming society with major effects on the economy and on the public sector. Open innovation has proven its value in many areas uh, in ICT for getting better results. Open standards are a key driver for innovation in software interoperability. The paradigm shift towards openness still needs to be addressed in the ways things are measured and quantified. More research is needed regarding the value openness can bring in different contexts. A more differentiated view on what openness means in which contexts may be helpful. And finally, awareness creation is necessary for promoting openness and preventing competence lock-in. Now, what comes next? As I said, this was the first conference yesterday, and uh, again, Graham already advertised it. Let me advertise this. Take it along. Take a look at it. It's really good articles um, that we got together. Um, so we have published the first set of papers um, by the Open Forum Academy. The next round of debate, exchange, and thinking was kicked off yesterday. 
um, we will continue to have roundtable events, briefings, insights events. And uh, already yesterday we agreed because the discussion was so good, was so energetic, um, and we saw so many areas that we need to follow up on. We agreed uh, for a follow on set of papers, and which we said we can schedule it sort of uh, time wise for spring 2013. Um, and let me uh, conclude with an invitation. We are, we are open. Um, let's knock on our doors. Let's get involved. Uh, with this, I would like to thank you again for your attention. Uh, I know it's tough. Lunch is waiting. Um, so thanks very much. And please visit the website of the Open Forum Academy. Thank you.